I'm Jared Deanda, and this is Snap-on Tools Great Garages. Send it. We're here in Mundelein, Illinois, where they manufacture their own chassis and high-performance parts utilized worldwide. And they build their own award-winning hot rods. Let's take a closer look at Roadster Shop. Phil, how are we doing? Good, thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. Walking in here, you just get this aura. So many awesome cars. What do you do here? What's the history of Roadster Shop? So I am co-owner with my brother. I handle the front end of the business, all the sales, marketing, accounting. How old is Roadster Shop? Late 80s, early 90s. Had yeah. a pretty big name in the traditional hot rod industry. That kind of dwindled off. We took it over and really kind of breathed new life into the company and had a whole new direction. Now we're up to almost 60 employees, just under 50,000 square feet in this facility. We're growing rapidly and keep trying to build the best. It's awesome. I mean, my perception of Roadster Shop is kind of actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. You guys are just kind of this shop and these fabricators that are really injecting yourself in a different way. You're building these completed cars top to bottom that are winning accolades, but you're also giving back because then now you're giving either the DIY guy or the fabricator or whatever the tools to build the right car. You're kind of a soft-spoken cat, I'll be quite yeah. honest, <laughs> but I think that speaks volumes of what you guys are trying to accomplish and give back to the automotive and the hot rod world. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely not the, you know, big, loud, in your face type guys. We like to let the cars speak for themselves. Yeah. We have an incredible team here that's involved in every project, so there really is no front man. It's 10, 15, 20 different people involved in each car from the design, the engineering, the sheet metal fabrication, the body and paint work, all the upholstery, the machining. Congratulations on this amazing facility. I can't wait to see it more, but I'll let you get back to work. Is there anybody you could introduce me to to uh, kind of be our tour guide? Josh Henning, he's our director of business development. Been on the company for about a year now yeah. and really talented guy, knows inside and out, so we'll let him take you through the rest of the shop and cool. show you what we're all about. Right on, well thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Josh, how we doing, man? Good, man, how about you? Nice oh, to meet you. Awesome, nice to meet you as well. Just walk in here, you could smell just the manliness. <laughs> but uh, you're almost operating two different businesses. A portion of the business is building chassis and suspension components, as well as full high-end builds. We have three different series of full complete cars, Signature Series, Select Series, and the Survivor Series. Yeah. Same thing with our chassis. We have the Spec chassis, the Revo chassis, and the Fast Track chassis. So we try to meet all budgets, all genres. You've been in the industry for a long time. Why snap on tools for Roadster Shop, and do you truly believe there is a Difference. Oh, I do believe if we're going to put out a quality product, we need to use quality tools and products to build that product. We're asking someone to buy our product because of its quality. We should do the same thing for other manufacturers out there. Snap-on does make a difference. The tolerances that they hold, the longevity of them, not to mention the support with the tool truck every week, it makes it a no-brainer. Let's talk specifically about these cars here. What do we have? Yeah, well, we have the Inferno uh, 69 Camaro, which is former Street Machine of the Year winner. We have the RS 63, 63 Corvette split window, and then we have split Split second, which is our second gen Camaro twin turbo small block Nelson racing engine in the split second dual fuel system. I truly believe hot rodding is from import cars to full on muscle cars to small engines, EcoBoost putting in this and doing right. that. And that's truly the evolution of hot rodding. Right, absolutely. All right, well, this is an amazing facility. I'm excited to go check it out. Let's do it. This is Jesse James' vehicle. What is this car deemed and what is the story? Well, the name is the Hill Country Hustler. When Jesse moved to Austin, outside Austin, it's the Hill Country. Yeah. And it's kind of played on words there. He wanted something that was gonna be rowdy, crazy, in your face. He had the car and he had the Hemi. And then yeah. other than that, kind of said, let's come up with something. So we left it outside original, did a full fast track custom chassis, custom underhood sheet metal, big twin turbo we CNC machine the intake, custom twin turbo, big Hemi, and then kind of crazy race car, 70s drag, street machine, a little bit of everything kind of yeah. in your face. If it was big power, race car, American, it was put into this yeah. stainless roll cage, all polished, and then the flaked stars and bars back to the seats and the tack cup and stuff like that, a lot of chrome and shiny, a uh, good yin yang with the rustied outside. I love it because it it looks like you can just thrash on it. It's gonna come back, and ask right. for some more. How much of an honor is it that Jesse James, who's just known for building stuff, he came to you? It was a humbling experience to even be in consideration and talk to him. Fab guys are working on it the whole time. It's kind of like, this is going to Jesse James. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a big deal. So yeah. yeah, it's a good driving force for everybody. It's another piece of the puzzle that is Roadster Shop. Speaking of the big puzzle overall here, where'd be the first stop here well, at Roadster Shop? Everything kind of starts with the chassis side of things. Well, it sounds like the first stop on this train. Sounds good.
So essentially what goes on here is the backbone or the foundation of a Roadster shop. Not only just for you guys, but for people all across the world. Let's talk about Fast Track. Let's talk about Revo. Two very different chassis. Oh, absolutely. We got the Fast Track, the Revo, and the Spec, and then now the RS4R, which is our four-wheel drive chassis. Spec rails start with a two by four box tubing or sometimes two by six on the trucks. And those are CNC laser cut and pied and keyed and then welded up. The specs are being able to be done a lot faster, which makes them a more economical chassis. There's just some bends and shapes that we can't perform with the spec, which in lies the Fast Track and the Revo. Fast Track and Revo share frame rails, like I said before, but they have a different front suspension. How much is a chassis and how many hours are into that? Spec chassis start at $99.95. Revo is $13,995. Fast Tracks are $16,995. Each chassis has between 150 and 200 hours in it. Yeah. Well, seeing a lot of technicians around here, you talk about 60 plus. Can we talk to a technician over in the fabrication area? Yeah, let's go to see a tech. Michael, how we doing, bud? Good. How about yourself? You got some dirty hands, man. And that means yeah. you're working. You're grinding here. What's going on here? What do you do? We got some frame rails getting built right here. They basically start from the ground up, getting built with four pieces of sheet metal. What chassis is this? Because you're getting three different models. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of different models. This one right here is a fast track chassis for a 71 Impala that's going into a special low rider build. Okay. So it's got some bigger kicks in it and some pretty heavy radiuses. That's right. How long have you been here at Roaster Shop? I've been here four years and I've been grinding away since day one. Let me ask you, I mean, you're working at kind of an iconic shop right now. You're building cars for some special people. How cool is the work here at this shop? This is a dream job and cool. it's probably the coolest shop to work for. This bright thing here, I gotta ask you, what is your favorite tool or favorite item of Snap-on Tools? My favorite tool probably has to be this toolbox. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, it keeps all my tools safe from anybody else who needs to use them. If you gotta ask me twice, get your own, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you Thank so much you. for your time. Some awesome work here. Thank Thank you very much, appreciate it. We are now in more of a fabrication facility, what are we looking at? As the chassis come from the chassis shop and they're going to the next step, we've generally already got bodies ready, chassis and bodies are meeting at this stage. Everything pretty much goes on here, whether it's a Survivor Series car, that's just getting the rear tubs and some floor modifications done, all the way to the full crazy one-off, rebodied. So everything goes on on this floor. A lot of different vehicles here. Are these paid for? These are customers' cars? Everything on the floor is customers' cars. Yeah. Metaphorically speaking here, like an RC car, you take one of your chassis and put a body on. Yeah, and fortunately, Fortunately enough, we have some history and some data of cars we've already built before. So a lot of things can be done prior to the chassis and body meeting. So on, you know, Chevelle's, Camaro's, stuff like that, we already have all of the data to do a smooth firewall. Wheel tubs are already done. A lot of that fabric work is already done prior to fitting. Do you think this is the norm or are you doing something totally different? I think size-wise, we are doing a lot of things that most people just don't because of, like I said, the engineers that we have on staff. But we've already done a scan to build that chassis underneath that car. We know exactly what's going to interface, what's going to hit. If you don't have those capabilities you cut the floor out put the transmission in there okay i gotta build a tunnel of this size that's called equity so talked about these vehicles they're paid for these are customers cars but you guys are kind of changing the game you guys are working on a project that's going to debut at sema it's right below us could you show us that car and i understand you got a special technician working on that car yeah we're going to go down and talk to jeremy he's going to kind of give you the walkthrough of the new legend series pickup truck that we're debuting okay and jeremy is what exactly jeremy gerber co-owner of the roadster shop cool right on let's check it out all right Jeremy, nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you. You look young, man. How old are you? 35. 35. You and your brother used to work here, and then you assumed the company, and now you've taken it to great heights. Yeah, it's, it's definitely soaring. The truck behind us is kind of a new level of hot rod that you guys are introducing to the world. Yeah, the truck, that's a totally new deal. I mean, to walk into the Roadster shop and see a 1974 square body 4x4 truck, pretty unusual. We're trying to be on the leading edge, and I always look toward what the next big thing is. The age is changing, the demographic changing. There's younger guys getting more involved in this and guys that have the financial means to make something like this happen. Yeah. So we're calling this our Legend Series okay. truck. The one truck that everybody relates to is the 1970 square body truck. My dad had one. My grandpa had one. I had one. It's like the iconic truck. Yeah. You know, it's 
we're rolling the dice and banking on this being a hot ticket item. It seems like it's a good bet because what you're doing there compared to what all the other vehicles are in here about is they're prepaid. Those are customers' cars. These are going to be ready for sale. Yeah, the plan is to offer this like you're going to the Chevy dealership and buying a brand new Chevrolet pickup truck. You can pick the color, you can pick the wheels, you've got a handful of options to pick, but in order to streamline the process, we're going to reel it in and keep the options limited. It only comes with one motor, one trans. We know yeah. the stuff that works. We want to get the mechanicals right and the creature comforts right and then just offer you know X amount of options from there. Modern heart, old school soul, roadster shop, legend. That's the plan, man. It's something that you can get in and drive it like a new truck. That's what we're after. I can't wait to see it get done. What is the tool that you find most often in your hand? I lean more towards some of the pneumatic stuff, a snap-on right angle grinder. You know, I've got thousands of hours logged with yeah. one of those in my hand. You know, I've got one. I still have it to this day. I've had it probably since I was 17 years old. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, Great you shop it, here. Congratulations and I uh, love what you guys are doing here. Thank you. Can't wait to see this thing at SEMA. It'll be there. Check it out. Cool. <laughs>we're now in final assembly. This thing looks sweet. Elaborate on this vehicle. So a 66 Chevelle for a customer down in Texas. This will be the first crank on the Mercury Racing SP4 yeah. engine. It starts with LS7 block. It's Mercury's top end, their heads, dual overhead cam, 32 valve, dual drive-by-wire throttle body, 750 some odd horsepower at 8,000 RPM redline. Uh, Tremec T56 Magnum from Bowler Transmissions in it. Full chassis, a lot of OE integration. That's going to add to the drivability, the longevity. If you got this car, you got a of cars, let's be quite honest. You're gonna choose this one to take your wife to dinner to because it does have that drivability. And Mercury, for those that don't know, are synonymous with boat engines. The engineers in the marine industry, they over-engineer everything and they <laughs> over-test everything. It's right. completely different than the automotive world. But as far as the OE integration, and we've seen it for the last 20 years that I've been in the industry, people spend a lot of money on cars. You do a lot of cool stuff. When it comes time to drive on the weekend or they're coming home from work, they're like, well, I'll, I'll probably get it out tomorrow. We're gonna go out to eat in this. So. Over the past four or five years, we've really tried to focus on putting stuff that's going to make it just yeah. like your daily driver, because you're going to use it more. Well, again, we'll send you on the maiden voyage. It's very befitting, you know, Mercury engines, boats. Do you want to crock some champagne on here? Yeah, we can. No, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. <laughs> you're going to new bumper on it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have fun here. Anybody else have fun around here? Any uh, technicians that we can talk to? Yeah, we'll go talk to Paul, the Shy town hustler. The Shy town hustler. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's go wrap out. Paul, how are we doing, man? Great, how are you? Yeah, good, man. What exactly do you do here at Roaster Shop? I'm the lead mechanic here at the Roaster Shop. We assemble cars yeah. nonstop. Shy town hustler, old school paint job. So I have to assume Snap-on Tools has been in oh, your yeah. family for a while. Like, my dad had a box like this when he was driving a tow truck. Yeah. So I got the same one. Had a guy in back paint it up for me, and yeah. I just kept going with it. Of course, tools. Who doesn't like tools? And the best in the business, snap on. Hey, I didn't even need to ask you a question. You just did that yourself. <laughs> uh, but, but in all seriousness, what's the tool that you find most in your hand. This is a cooling system refiller from Snap-on. It's quick, it's fast, it's easy, it's clean. You're able to vacuum the system down and you're checking the whole coolant system on the vehicle before you fill coolant in it. It's better to find a leak while it's dry and it fills it in the same time. Yeah. Definitely worth the money. It was my go-to. As soon as I got a job here, I'm like, this is what we're getting. No muss, no fuss, right? Right. Yeah. You know, I use it today. Probably use it every month. That frequently, just because cars are turning over that much and, and just trying to catch any mistakes or or just any any little faulty equipment. Anything to make us look better. Well, you're looking good now, man. All thank right, you so thank much, you. folks. Well, Josh, I gotta say, this truly is a snap-on tool great garage. It's just exciting to see where you've come from and where you're at and where you're gonna go. You guys built some amazing cars. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching this episode of Snap-on Tools Great Garages. For all things Snap-on, be sure to visit our Facebook page. Like, share, and comment down below if there's a garage you'd like us to visit.